Kami's annotation tools are very user friendly and easy to use. So if you look over on your toolbar to the left or the right, whichever side you have yours on, you can see that the annotation tools that are available are markups, which are just highlighters. So you have different types of highlighters, such as a text highlighter, freehand, or box highlighters. This is also where you would come to strike through or underline something. So if you want to strike through a word, you would just click the word and it strikes through. If you want to underline a word, you would just highlight the word and it would underline it. And you can see whatever color I have highlighted, that's the color that it is doing it in. So I can always change the color. If you want more colors, you can use your eyedropper tool to pick a, select a certain color off of your document or click down on more co colors for the whole color palette and have the picker, you can choose any color in the world. Um, highlighter, same thing. You would just choose the type of highlighter that you wanted. So you can do text or freehand or box. Choose the color that you want and just highlight what you want to highlight. So since I had it on text highlighter, it highlighted a text. If I put it on box highlighter, it would highlight in a box. Freehand, you can highlight however you would like to. To clear any of those different annotations, you would just come down to your eraser and you can click um, drawings and shapes here or all the annotations and just click on what you would like to erase. The next annotation tool I wanna to talk about is a text box. So if you click on text box and click anywhere, you can just type in whatever text you would like to. It's here, you're able to drag and move this anywhere you want to on the page. So if I wanted to move this around, I would just grab this little crosshairs here and move it wherever I would like it to be. If I needed to change anything about it, I can just highlight it. I can change the font here, change the font size, change the line height, make it bold, italicize, underline, strike through, change my color. Highlight it or change the background color here. These are your subscripts and your superscripts. You have your numbered list, bullet list, the indentations, your alignment. This is where you would insert your link. So just make sure that your words are highlighted. Click on link and then insert whatever link you would like it to go to. So now when someone gets a copy of this, if they click my name, it will go directly to Google. So if I click here, it the URL is right at the bottom and it'll take you straight to Google or whatever you type in. You have emojis that you can put in. Right over here, this will reformat everything. So if you click on this, it resets everything right back to where it was in the beginning. And you can also click here and use your voice typing. So once I click here, everything that I say will be typing on the page. And I can click the microphone and it'll stop. So that's really great for accessibility tools. If you don't feel like typing, you can just click this little microphone and let Kimmy do the typing for you. Again, any annotation that I put, you can move it around wherever you would like it to be on the page. Or you can click on it and then click your little trash can and delete it out. Math teachers and music teachers, you have symbols and math functions and math operations that you wouldn't have on a normal keyboard. So you can come here to equation and type in or use any of these different symbols. So if you needed to type in a equation such as two plus three minus one, you could just use your symbols here. Any symbol that you put, that you click on, will go into this text box that you have open. And music teachers, you can even put in musical notes. Then to get this off of your screen, you would just click equation again. And if you wanted to get rid of this whole text box, click here and delete. 
The next type of annotation are drawings. So you can click here to change your stroke thickness. So you can go from a tenth all the way up to 12. So if you want it to be really thick, you would do 12. I'm gonna keep it at one. You can have your stroke type. You can have dashes or a solid line. You can change your transparency here. Um, you can use a ruler if you need a ruler to actually draw out your line to make sure that it's a straight line. Use your ruler and you click on ruler to go get go away. There's a protractor so that you can measure your angles on your pages. There's a compass so that you can draw a perfect circle. So click here, you can make it wider or you can make it smaller depending on what type of circle you need and then click on the pencil and just draw your circle out so no more crooked circles on your smart boards because you can use this compass same thing with your colors you can use any of the colors here or you can go to more colors down at the bottom and once you click on this annotation if i click on my circle by going to select and clicking on that circle I'm able to go in here and change the color of my circle. I can make my thickness thicker. If I needed my transparency to change, I can change the transparency of the circle. Change my line style from solid to a dash, or I can just delete it out. And the last type of annotation I wanna talk about today are shapes. You have the same different stroke thickness, stroke types, transparencies, and here are the different shapes that you can create. So you can have a rectangle, you can have a circle, a triangle, and a polygon. So with the polygon, you can just change the number of sides that you want it to be all the way up to 20. And once you draw it, that polygon will be there can insert lines so if you wanted to draw a line from one place to the other you would just draw your line in and the same thing applies to your shapes just as it is with your drawings once you click on it you're able to change any of your colors font size and so on so those are your basic cami annotation tools um, you can come back for a later video and learn all about these comments, which are a complete game changer in Cami.